Hey guys, welcome back. I am Aishwarya from Digital Two Design. In this session, we are going to learn about keyword research tools. In this video, we are going to use only free tools. Using these free tools, we can do expert level keyword research. There are many free tools available online. Here, I have listed the top five tools: Google Keyword Planner, Moz Keyword Explorer, KeywordTool.io. and question db i have included chrome extensions for some of these tools in case you want to do proper keyword research using paid tools for your business there are options like ahref woring simrush keyword revealer and spyfu using these paid tools you can do keyword research more accurately in this video we are going to see how to do keyword research using free tools first let's start with google keyword planner To use Google Keyword Planner, you need a Google Ads account. Using your Gmail account, create a Google Ads account. Once you have created the Google Ads account, your dashboard will look like this. There is an option on right called Tools. Then go to Planning. You will see an option called Keyword Planner. Click that. There you can see two options: Discover new keywords or get search volume and forecast. going to search our keywords using seed keywords click discover new keywords there are two options start with keywords or start with website to start with the website you can enter your competitor's website to retrieve keywords they have used or you can start your research by entering your seed keyword the website address is optional for example here i am entering seo if you want you can use multiple keywords up to 10 we will proceed with the seo keyword the search results give you the monthly average search volume here you can see 100k to 1 million searches for the seo keyword on google its competition level is medium you can see an option called top of page bid the low range is for ads that appear last on the search engine results page Likewise Google's first result page ads are called high range the price of high range ads is mentioned as rupees 4600 something below there is a column called keyword ideas we use keyword planner mainly for this option we get to know the average monthly search volume for the seed keyword we entered here we can see keywords related to the seed keyword and their search volumes for example it's listed here as seo services seo marketing SEO agency and so on. So choose the right keyword. Let's see how to choose the right keyword for your business. First, you can choose a keyword based on the average monthly search volume. For example, you can choose keywords with 10k to 200k search volumes. Second, look at the competition. You can target low and medium levels. If the search volume is 1k to 10k, you can also target this. If you use these keywords with low competition, your web pages will rank earlier third consider the bidding cost if you plan to run google ads in the future if you have optimized your keywords and web pages correctly the bidding rate will stay the same if you haven't optimized it properly the bidding price will be higher in the keyword by relevance there are more results to check once properly if you want you can download it in csv sheets or google sheets in refine keywords you can segregate it by brand and non brand You can also segregate keywords by services, industry, and others. We'll learn more about this once we start working on page. Next is KeywordTool.io. Here you can get keyword suggestions plus their monthly search volumes. For example, if we search digital marketing in the search tab, it gives suggestions and also shows monthly volumes for all keywords. You can see search volume, trend, average CPC, and competition. For example, if we take digital marketing course its search volume is 673,000. The trend goes up by 48%, the average CPC is $4, and the competition is medium. Next is question DB. If you are doing SEO for a blogging website, you should prioritize question and answer types. The FAQ schema will have a huge impact on your website, helping you gain a lot of traffic. Why? Because The question and answer content often gets featured in voice search results. 
If someone asks a question using Google Voice Assistant, your answers might appear in the results. This can drive good traffic to your site. For example, if we search for search engine optimization, here it will take some time. The results show you 50 plus questions. You can download them. If you can answer these questions, integrate them into your website. These questions can improve your content marketing. Lastly, let's look at Moz. It is available as a Chrome extension and on their website. You can just input your keyword and get the analysis. It provides you with monthly volume, who is ranked for that keyword, and what their page and domain authority are. If you are a beginner and want a keyword tool with proper insights, you can use Moz's keyword research tool along with its Chrome extension. You can experiment with different keywords. Before picking keywords, consider three things, which are keyword search volume, difficulty, and cost per click. Select a keyword based on these three criteria. Once you have selected the keyword, you can start the optimization process, which we will cover in upcoming sessions. If you have any questions or doubts, mention them in the comments and I'll answer as soon as possible. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Digital 2 Design. See you in the next tutorial. Take care. Bye guys.